Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 47 in chapter 11. Chapter 11 is about angular momentum. In this system, we can see there we have the same road, the mass and length is given. And it is just suspended vertically, right, at there. And then we have a small object. The mass is m. It's just a hit this long, thin road at the center of mass. Now, after this uh, object, small object, hit it and sticks together, attaches together, and then this uh, road will move up, swing up, and then reaches to this position. We need to find how high does the bottom of this uh, road uh, sw swing. So that means we need to find the distance from there to there, the edge bottoms. Agree? Now, we can see we do a more easily work. We consider first one how much the distance moved for center of mass. Okay, that will be easy. First time we can look at this system, the object and the long thin road. The angular momentum is conserved because no external force acts on it. So that will be easy. We choose this one as rotation axis. So the initial Angular momentum is just from the object, right? The small m times the distance. This one, L divided by 2 times V. This is R, P. This is R, and M times V is P. The angle is 90 degrees. So this is initial angular momentum. And the final angular momentum, we can see the, this object sticks with this road. So we can see the I, momentum of E ratio for both of them, times omega. Agree? Now it gets its angular velocity omega, it will move up. This omega is about central mass, right? Now it moves up, the mechanical energy is conserved. So initial mechanical energy after it's after these collisions, we can say one half i omega square and then equals to this one. The mass more mass times the capital mass g h, right? G h. This is a gravity potential energy. The energy is conserved. Now we can see first one, let's find the let's find the momentum of E ratio for this long thin road. We can see we consider the center of mass rotation around the rotation axis. It is just the one third ML squared. And you can check your textbook for this one. And also the momentum of E ratio for this small object object is mass times R square, the distance from the rotation axis to this uh, uh, central mass is L divided by 2, right? Now we input this 2i inside to solve this equation. So we can see for first one, we can get the omega equal to this one, right? And then from this one, we can get this h equal to this one. Now we need to input the omega and the momentum of E ratio inside. So now the h we input is known quantities inside. We get it looks like this one and input this momentum of E ratio for capital M and small m, we get this h equal to this function. And remember, this h is the distance moved for central mass. Now you need to find how high does the bottom of the road swings. So how high this one moves? Similar triangles, right? Because this is a center of mass. This is, a, and this is the center of mass. This is L divided by two. This length is L, so twice, right? So similarly, the distance moved by bottom end of this road is two edge. Now the problem is solved. Thank you.